You are not her friend. One of the most common things that guys come to me with and what they struggle with most is that they friends on themselves and they can't escalate. They are perpetually stuck in this position of this rule where those two or them two, the guy and the girl, they're nothing. They're just friends. Maybe not even that. And if you ask him, you know, what's going on with you and this girl? What does he say? He says, you know, we're, we're, we're getting closer. We're working on things. You're working on things? Have you two kissed? Have you been on a date? Have you even held hands? And they tell me, no, no, but we're working on it. Okay, bro, I understand. You see, the thing is that you will never get friend zoned unless you give her a reason to friend zone you and what does this mean it's your job to escalate it's completely on you to escalate and if she friend zones you or if you two become friends and she texts you saying you know we're better off just being friends it's your fault it's something you did or did not do now in this video we're going to go over basically how to avoid this so that you can either progress things forward with a girl or not waste your time thinking that one day she will change her mind because newsflash she won't change her mind if she's decided that you're the friend my friend you are the friend so and if you came from tiktok or instagram Instagram, I've made so many videos on this, well, short form videos, basically saying that the thing that distinguishes you from the friend is by you creating polarity. Now, what is polarity? Polarity is basically you just highlighting the differences between you two and the several ways to do this. When you think about polarity, it's basically the masculine and the feminine. You are the masculine, she's the feminine. Now, of course, she doesn't want to date her friend. Now, imagine the feminine and the feminine. These two will get on really well, but they're not going to date. They're never going to escalate because they're just friends. Same with the masculine and the masculine. Unless you're gay, you're not going to escalate because you're just friends. Guys watching this who are men, you probably don't want to fuck your friends, right? Because you two are more similar. Now, the point of what I'm saying is the more similar you are to her, the less chance there is of escalating. And something that a lot of you do is you try to appear like her. I remember when I was at school, like young school, eight years old, nine years old, and the girls that I had a crush on, I would try to appear to be like them. I would mirror their body language. I would copy their tonation, their facial expressions. If they cross their legs, I'd cross my legs. If they cross their arms, if they lend back, etc. Now, that's because subconsciously, I'm trying to show this girl that I'm like you, so you should like me. Now, this may have worked, but what will happen is they'll think that I'm a friend, not a possible romantic partner. So how do you create polarity to distinguish yourself from being the friend? Well, there's two ways that you can do this. First way is pretty easy. You give her a compliment. Now, this isn't some weird, oh my God, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous. No, don't do this because she hears this probably every single day. What you want to do is give her a genuine compliment, something a little bit different. Excuse me, that dress looks really nice on you. Wow, those shoes, I really like those shoes. Where are those shoes from? Now, the compliment isn't too important. What is important is you don't sound like you're you're a beg, like you're begging for her validation or for her kind of affection in return because what guys will do is they'll say, wow, you're beautiful. My turn, you know, give me a compliment. The point of the compliment is, compliment is you're giving her something, but you're not expecting something back in return. So you give her the compliment, you look very fit today, like whatever it is, right? And then you almost say it kind of like aloof, like you're not expecting something in return. When I would give girls compliments, it was almost like a passing statement, like a, huh, yeah, you look fit today. Get on with, what I, with whatever I'm doing. I wouldn't linger. I wouldn't keep looking at them. I would say the compliment and then move on, right? What this shows her is you're interested but you're not needy or desperate you just genuinely had this thought that came to mind you were being authentic and gave her the compliment being authentic is is what you want to be striving towards and this just means speaking what you feel or what's on your mind rather than being this calculated autistic guy saying you know i'll say this and then i'll say this and then i'll have this script although with game i know there, is, there are scripts that exist out there to get better with this but you don't want to do this because if you rely on on having the right things to say all the time, you will get to the point where you don't know what to say and you're relying on someone like me feeding you this information. This is an issue that some of my clients have had when they've asked me for specific things to say, but then once they've said these specific things, they don't know where else to go. They don't know how, how to progress things further because they've never learned these skills by themselves. The skill of escalating so that you're not the friend, basically it's social skills, conversation skills, and there's several ways to get better at this, which I will make in other videos, but for now we'll stick with this. So polarity, first way you give her a genuine compliment. The second way is you tease her. Now within my coaching, I teach something called the brother daddy dynamic, which is basically this framework that I've made where a certain percentage of being the daddy, giving her orders, direction. Now, teasing her means to kind of play with her, to literally push her, poke her, make fun of her, tease her, this kind of thing, right? Now, the reason why you do this and playfully, you don't want to be an actual dickhead. You want to have like a smirk on your face whilst you do it and be like, look how weak you are. I can fuck you up. You know, you may have done this thing with girls before where you put your hands on her hands and be like, oh my God, look how small your hands are. This kind of thing, right? The reason why you want to do this is because it's fun. The fun guy I will always win so you want to be the guy who enables this fun in her a lot of the issue that you have with escalation is that you're just boring right you don't show her you're a fun person to be around and when she says to you let's just be friends what she's really saying is i find you boring and not attractive so with the teasing you're doing this because you want to show her you're not afraid to possibly upset her i have said some pretty like dickheady things to girls playfully mind i've had a smirk on my face whilst i've said it i've been on dates before and i've said let's imagine that i'm playing pool right on a date playing pool which was my go-to date and i've said to a girl you know if you keep being shit whatever her name is I'm, I'm gonna have to get somebody else to take your spot. I'm in this, I'm basically insinuating that because she's by the pool, I'm gonna 
replace her with somebody else. Now, this is me teasing her, saying that I'm not afraid to piss you off. I'm not afraid to place you. I'm showing my abundance mindset. Now, when it comes to escalating, you want to use both these things, really. You want to use the compliment and the teasing. Now, of course, there's so many different ways to escalate, but I'm not going to go into every single thing. The video will be an hour long. But yeah, you want to focus on these two things. If you can learn to effectively do this and go back and forth with these girls, you're not going to be friends with her. She's going to know that you find her attractive. But what is very, very important with everything that I'm saying right now, what you say is not that important. And this is probably the most important thing that I will say in this video. It's the delivery and the way in which you say it. It's the same with everything. It's how you say it, not what you say. That's why in my coaching, which I'll put a little, I'll put a screenshot of my platform and my program on the screen somewhere here, my editor, editor will. One big thing that we focus on is your communication because you will not be able to get good with girls unless you master your communication. And this means absolutely obsessing over your tone of voice, learning to breathe properly, learning to speak at a certain speed, learning to hold yourself in a certain way because most guys have never really paid much attention to how they actually sound and come across. But this is exactly how somebody will perceive you and judge you because everything is subconscious communication. If you speak too fast with too high, too high pitched tone of voice, if you have these upward inflections every time you speak and you're like, hi, how you doing? And it goes up, 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 right? People are going to subconsciously lose respect for you, especially girls. Now, this is going to mean that you find it difficult to escalate. So whilst you're using the compliment and the teasing, the polarity, basically, you're being mindful of your tone of voice. Like the way I'm speaking to you right now is not the way I speak to my girlfriend or girls in the past, right? I, d I just don't do this because you have to have a certain like character you get into. When I would go on dates and be around girls, I would have this kind of like girl female mode where I would like clip my fingers and suddenly slow down, speak with a certain kind of deeper tone of voice, have this like confident cocky smirk on my face, kind of be like looking down at them like this. Maybe this is hard for you to imagine. And yes, this may sound a bit cringe and a bit fake, but there's a thing called face theory, right? Right. Now this guy made this theory, which I believe it is true, where we basically are all actors. We all play different characters depending on the situation that we're in. And with your parents, you'll act a certain way. With your, with your friends, you'll act a certain way, family, etc. So with girls, you should also have a way that you see that you act, kind of mask or frame that you enter, which is like your playful, fun, flirtatious side. But obviously you have to work on these things first. So I'm gonna leave the video here. If you want to learn more and exactly how to do this step by step, then there's a link to book a consultation in my bio below in the description below. That will get you one free call with me where we will see if you are a good fit for my coaching program and then we will go from there. All right. So all my, my free guides are in the bio as well. So until the next video, boys, see you all later. <laughs>